Hi guys, welcome back to Algo Test. In this video, we're going to quickly discuss what are the most optimum execution settings for, for option buying based strategies. Now, there's a multitude of strategies you can build on Algo Test. Could be buying, it could be selling, it could be momentum based, so on and so forth. We're building a series to educate our traders on how they can make the most out of our execution engine after building a solid trading strategy on the back test page. And the first installment of this series is for buying strategies. So let's get straight into the video. I'm currently on the algo test landing page and I'm going to click on go to dashboard. Now I'm going to build a quick option buying strategy. Let's put the entry time as 920 exit time is 315 bank nifty. We're going to buy a call and we're going to buy it and we're going to utilize the simple momentum feature for this. We're going to buy it anytime the underlying moves up by 0.3%. And similarly, I'll copy this leg and I want to buy a put anytime the market moves down by 0.3%. Now, this is just a random strategy I've built. This is not a strategy recommendation, of course, but for the purposes of demonstration, I should obviously make, we should obviously have a buying strategy in place. So I'm simply going to save this strategy and name it as buying example. Click on done. Now let's head to live trade. Now, why are execution settings important in the first place? There's a certain methodology and thought process behind our backtesting. We've already made a video talking about how you can make your live trades match your backtest as closely as possible. So we'll link that in the description below. Check it out. Do check it out. But execution settings are, but execution settings are important because it tells us how you want the strategy to be executed. All right, so I'm going to find the strategy I just made. There it is. I'm going to click on setup execution. So this is a simple pop up that you get for for execution settings. However, I'm going to click down here on advanced settings and a bigger pop up opens. This is what you want. So the first thing we're going to change is leg one NRML MIS. That is up to you. That's not really a concern. However, if you're trading intraday, I would recommend you put it as, as MIS, target or stop loss reference price. Now, I'm not going to talk about what each of these points mean because we've made a video talking about each of these in detail and we'll also link that in the description. However, if you need a quick recap, you can quickly hover over this eye over here and it explains the actual feature for you. So for this target, so for target or stop loss reference price, I'm going to click on trigger. All right, you can add delay entry if you'd like, that's up to you. The next column says entry order type. We're going to put it as limit. So we want to place limit orders and I'm going to leave the other settings unchanged because that is as per your preference, but it's important to put limit orders here just to minimize slippage and stuff like that. Finally, we have the third column where we also want it to be limit orders and not market orders. And we leave the other settings unchanged because that is totally up to you. Remember, like I said, if you don't remember what a particular feature does, you can just hover over the eye icon and it explains it for you. Or otherwise, if you're completely unfamiliar, you can just check out the video linked in the description below. Once I'm done setting up these ex execution settings, it's important to remember to click on copy to legs. So it copies to all of your legs or whatever legs you'd like. In this case, I'm just going to select both legs and I'm going to click on apply to selected legs. Now, these same changes have been made to all legs in your strategy. One important thing we didn't touch upon was trade monitoring on LTP or on candle close. You want to select candle close and the differences between these two are again explained in a separate video, which we will, of course, link in the description. Now, once I'm done with this, I'm going to click on set up execution settings. And when I'm ready to deploy my strategy, when it's trading hours, currently it isn't. I'm going to click on activate and my strategy will trade on its own as per the parameters set. So thanks for watching this quick video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And we hope you're going to enjoy the upcoming videos where we talk about execution settings for selling based strategies or re-entry based strategies and so much more. If you have a suggestion, please let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next one.